Previously on The Walking Dead. No! You monsters! Garcias! Oh, you, you... You shook my goddamn guts out! Conrad? What? Ain't got the guts to kill another man? No. You're not a man. You're nothing. Joan was in on it. We did it on her orders. I'm... I'm sorry. It is too late for sorry, you backstabbing shitbag. I'll help you. I'll, I'll tell everyone in Richmond about this. <sighs> Maybe he'll be useful. Thank you. Thank you. I needed that. Come on, we have to hurry. Wait a second. David told us to come here. He's talking to the others now. Trust me, shit's about to fly. I knew I could count on you, brother. This is not over, Joan. I have friends here. Allies. Strike one. I'm out of practice, that's all. Yeah, same here. I haven't held a bat since the league booted me. Well, you got all afternoon to get back in your groove. <sighs> oh yeah. Just holding this thing makes me feel better. You doing okay? Uh, I've been wrestling with something. Hey! Hey man, you're Javier Garcia, right? The ball player? Can I get your autograph? <laughs> if you could sign my baseball, that would be so awesome. I, I watch you play all the time. Sure thing, kid. Oh, man! Thank you! Who do I make this out to? Oh, no, no. N no names. Band players' signatures are worth way more on resale than personalized crap. <laughs> Just your name is fine. D don't date it or anything. <sighs> Hope you like it. Oh, yeah! I might get ten bucks for this! Gotta keep those fans happy, big star. Let's get back to baseball. Swing and a miss! You don't have to start sucking because of me. Does talking like that make you feel better? Yeah. You should try it. <sighs> Son of a bitch! Strike two. Man, knock that shit off. I'm serious. You just talk, talk, talk. It's annoying. Oh, wow. Sorry, David. Look, it's cool you're trying to cheer me up. Really? I still can't believe you actually wanted to come here. If I were in your situation, I'd avoid batting cages forever. 
Well, thanks for bringing me anyway. I needed the distraction. Jeez, I can't catch a break. Oh, you could hit it if you wanted to. Next time, we go to the shooting range. I don't really shoot. But I do. And I'm good at it. Ow! Fuck! You gotta shut up! Stupid thing. My arm's throbbing. Don't blame that on me. Gotta pay attention. Oh, the batting cage is serious business. You're about the last person who should be telling people about serious business, Hobby. I remember I showed you how to play this game. Well, let this superstar return the favor. Watch this. Whew! Thought I lost my touch. Oh, please. I'm done. David. You're leaving already? You said you were happy, so I'm done here. Come on, I thought we'd hang out all day. I'm not gonna spend all day as your cheerleader. You're a grown-up, and I've had enough. What's going on? David, I, I don't understand. You don't understand because you only think about yourself. And I'm sick of it. It's been that way for years. You've always been looking out for yourself. You tried to help me, yet yeah, let me help you. You really want to help? All right. Drive me down to the recruitment office next week. The army? My job sucks. Kate and I fight like cats and dogs. I belong back in the army. I had a purpose there. I had respect. Dude, g going back to the army isn't gonna fix what's wrong with your life. You should just, you know, think this through a little more. I have been thinking it through for months. Things between me and Kate have been going downhill for a while. But if I left, it seemed like that would be best for everyone. I can't keep pretending this is the life I want. Not anymore. No, the kids are too young for you to leave them. You gotta be around to, you know, coach them on stuff. What the hell do you know about raising children, Hobby? I'm not gonna lie. If I go, it's gonna be hard on everyone. Kate may need help from time to time. You can help, right? You won't leave her hanging? I need to know that. In my mind. I'll be there for them, since you won't. If you want to go, you should go. <sighs> Thank you. I really mean it. We good? Yeah, we good. Come on, let's get out of here. Buy your beer. Get in there. I let you go. On the road, remember? Can't you help us now? Of course I remember. It's why I haven't shot you already. That's how I'm helping you. Joan's making a huge mistake. No, you made a mistake when you tried to attack her. Hey, everybody just take a breath, all right? I was just trying to tell and them... And that's your mistake right there. You can't fight everybody. Understand that Joan's not looking for revenge. She just wants order. Cooperation is the name of the game. There's still a way through this. But you've got to let Joan enforce the laws. You do anything she tells you to do, huh? Go along with whatever she says just to keep your place. It's not like that. Joan's got a tough job. She needs all our help to keep this place safe. You boys want to make it out of here. Just relax and trust in the process. Ugh. This is bad. What are we going to do? I never trusted Joan. I didn't think she'd turn on me like this. David, hey! I thought I had it handled. All of this is my goddamn fault. I should have seen it coming, but I dropped the ball. Big time. Joan lied. 
You couldn't have anticipated that. It was a sneak attack. I'm glad you see that. You may be the only one. I keep doing this, making the same stupid mistakes. You're still a hero to Gabe. There's still a lot you can teach him. This world needs all the heroes it can find. That's my boy. Listen to me carefully. I don't care what's gonna happen to me. I'm most worried about Kate and Gabe. They gotta survive, no matter what. You don't have to worry. They're safe for now. We have to get them out of town. Both of us. You're right. No matter what we do, Jones already poisoned this well. We've got to figure a way out of Richmond. All of us? All of us. This time tomorrow, we'll be together and safe. You never give up on anybody. And I'm not going to give up on you. So glad to see you boys getting along. Armed escort? You're that scared to face me? Oh, David. I'm not scared of you. I came here to talk, not fight. You're not gonna be a problem, are you? I just want a calm discussion between us. You've got the guns. You set the terms. I'm glad you're willing to work with me. It's sad how we ended up here. But Clinton Lingard agree. You've become a problem. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna call for a gathering in the square. The people deserve to hear a full explanation of your arrest. And then? Then you'll be replaced as head of security. No one's above the law, David. Not even you. I know the laws, Joan. You're the one breaking them. David deserves a fair shot. He doesn't need to be replaced. If he was as good as you say, he wouldn't be in this position, would he? You set me up. Everyone's going to see through your lies. I did what I had to do to keep the people of Richmond safe. They're going to see that. And they'll also see that the biggest threat to them right now is you. We'll debate all of this in the morning. Right now, David, I need to ask you some questions in private. Bring him with us. Get out of here. That doesn't look very sturdy. Huh. That pipe looks loose. Time to rest. Ugh, nothing useful here. Hmm. I'm not going to get up there from this bench. That's not gonna work. <sighs> Locked. I'm not getting out through here. <sighs> no one's out there.
those boards come loose. <clears throat> nope. Could squeeze through there. time since I hit the showers. Oh, and I could use one. Too bad there's no running water in here. Well, that's about the kind of day I'm having. for you. Gabe? Where'd they take Dad? I don't know yet. Help me get out of here. These bars are loose. Help me pry them off. I can't do it. Can you help? Nice work, Gabe. Now, give me a hand. What's all that noise? It's a herd. They're outside the walls. This way. Come on. Kate didn't want to stay at Dad's house. Where are you taking me? Eleanor found a place. She sent me to find you. While they hide out. Thank God for Eleanor. She's a lifesaver. She saved Kate, and I'll never forget it. I was pretty scared. Me too, buddy. Me too. We should probably keep moving. I can't believe you found me. I looked everywhere. Huh. Nice work. Thank you. They still got your dad, though. He's gonna be okay, right? I mean, these are his people. They're just arguing, aren't they? They wouldn't do anything to him. I'm working on that. To tell you the truth, things don't look so good for him right now. What? Then we have to help him. We gotta meet up with the others first. All clear. Come on. He keeps pushing us to leave. You have to make her stay. We have to stay until Dad's free. We can't leave Dad here. Not after we found him again. I'll talk to her. I'll try to convince her. Good. It's important. Hold up. here, hasn't it? We should be safe in this town. You shouldn't be a prisoner. We'll fix it for us when we get your dad back and our family back together. Okay. That's Eleanor's place. We made it. Great. Let's get in there.
Oh, that was close. Yeah. This wasn't so busy before. What are they up to? Come on. Let's get inside. Still pissed at me? Just shut up while I'm hugging you. Would you be happy never seeing me again? So what about me? Trip. I like I wouldn't go in there if I were you. They've escalated past their same old usual argument. Never heard it this bad. That's some rough shit right there. I'm gonna try to get some shut eye. I just can't do this now. Oh, hey. Uh, hey. Trip, look who's here. Hey, guys. Uh, hey, <clears throat> where have you been? Joan threw me and David in jail, if you can believe it. Great. So you gave these people more reason to hate us. What is going on here in Richmond? You know more about this place than the rest of us. What do we do? We just can't trust Joan. She's trying to remove David from power by pinning murders on him. Told you we couldn't trust him. I'm sorry about what's going on with David, but we should have gotten out of here when we had the chance. We still need to get out of here, Javi. Let's go. There's too much unfinished business here. Javi. Sorry, we can't leave yet. Have you guys even looked out the window? Go look for yourself. Oh. Holy shit. Javi, even if you did get your brother free, you're not going to be able to go anywhere. Look at that. We should have left when we had a chance. 
Now we're stuck here. At least we're all still together. Look, this isn't a glass half full situation. It seems like we're in danger within this place and without. I, for one, would feel a whole lot safer with a few more guns to protect ourselves. That the smartest move to make right now? That's crazy. He's my brother, Kate. I have to. Okay. We have to rescue David. Damn straight we do. And we might have to face those muertos. I know where there's guns. My dad showed me. There are lots. The armory. Good idea. A small group should go. Okay. Sounds like a plan. We'll get back here as soon as we can. Good luck. Come here. Kate, I... Just be careful. Look, Javi, I, I don't know if you heard us, but I think I fucked it up with Eleanor. We can talk on the way. I, about that, I, I don't think I can leave this apartment with things like this between me and her. It's just not right. I know you must have at least heard something. You know what I mean? It happens, especially these days. Don't worry about it. Thanks. Just... Shouldn't have pushed it with her like I did. Wasn't fair. Too much going on already, right? Javi, come on! Just give us a minute, pal. I'm sorry, buddy. I just, I don't know what to do. With all that's going on here, everybody's feeling overwhelmed. Try to wait for the right time. Maybe she'll come around. <sighs> uh-huh. Right. Okay, good luck out there. I'll talk it over with Eleanor and watch over things here. You've got my word. I won't let anything happen to anyone. Thank you. Javi, come on. Good luck. Stay frosty, gents. What's that mean? Like, stay cool, buddy. Looks like Bob's on duty. I'll distract him away from the door and meet you inside. Be careful in there. There might be more of them. Remember what I said about staying cool? I've done this before, Avi. No, you haven't, Gabe. Not really. Some decisions, you make them in a split second, and then have to carry them the rest of your life. You understand? <sighs> yeah, I think I do. How can we trust Ava that she won't turn us in? Can we really trust her? Your father trusts her. And we trust him, right? Yeah. Then we should be okay. I hope. How do you know when you can trust someone? I feel like I've never really known anyone. Other than you and Kate, Mariana, and what I remembered of my dad. Through their actions. They can try to confuse you with their words, but someone worth your trust does good things. Makes sense. I think we're up. She sure is a big help.
Shiva said it'd be this way. It's down here. The guns are through that door. Locked. No time to look for a key either. Have to do this the hard way. Put these in your bag. We've never done this before. Just you and me. We make a pretty good team, right? The uncle nephew one two punch. Yeah, we do. Sorry to scare you. When we get back to Eleanor's, we need to talk to those people about doing the right thing by this place. I'll meet you at the entrance. You're bleeding. Are you okay? Oh my god. Oh, damn it, Gabe. Does it fucking look like I'm okay? Oh, I'm sorry. Jeez, I can't leave you guys alone for two minutes, can I? He's still alive? Yeah. Just passed out. Starting to think siding with you might have not been the best idea. Toss Sleeping Beauty in the closet so nobody sees him. Let me see that wound. It's really bleeding. You're gonna need that taken care of. Shit. No, it's okay. Lingard and David are close friends. We can count on him to help you. Medical facility's right nearby. It'll be quiet this time of night, too. Okay, but let's be quick. Can they really hit targets over a mile away? Not these, but some models. Javi, it's probably best if Lingard doesn't see these guns. He and David might be tight, but he's still part of Richmond's leadership council. I'll keep watch with Ava. Okay. Do any of them have laser sights? Oh, 
Clem? <gasps> Shit, Javi, what happened to you? Ran into a little trouble. Wow, <sighs> that looks like it must have hurt. I just need to get it cleaned up. You surprised me. Thought you were someone else. Thought you'd be long gone by now. <sighs> so did I. But I still need to talk about AJ with Lingard. Look at him. Anyway, I can't leave Richmond with that herd out there. Something tells me Lingard doesn't care what you're doing. He's been out of it since I got here. He's alive. Poor dumb bastard. That's gonna need more than just cleaning, Javi. I can stitch that for you. I can't promise it'll look great once it heals. It's better than nothing, though. You've done this before? Yeah, I have. On myself, actually. In much worse conditions. You'll be fine. Huh. Let me see if I can find a needle and thread for that. Clem. Are you okay? I'm fine. I started... bleeding. I know, it's a thing. I've traveled with women before, and, and they all had it. What is it? I mean, like, why is it... I just don't understand. It means you're... growing up. Blossoming into your, you know, like, womanhood. Your body is, is developing, and then things change, but it'll be okay. Okay. I can take you back to Kate. She can help you with, uh... Javi, worry about yourself right now. We need to find a needle and thread to stitch you up first. Oh, uh, right. <sighs> Wake up! Talk to me! <sighs> wow, that guy is really out of it. Penicillin. Not what I'm looking for. Cody. Hmm. Not much left. It looks like painkillers are in high demand. I wouldn't steal any medicine if I were you. It really doesn't go over well. No thanks. Jackpot. Needle and thread. All sterilized and ready to go. Here we go. Just pills. Hey, this is just what you're looking for. They help you handle it. Kate will take care of you. I think I remember how to do this. <sighs> okay, hold still. Try not to breathe. Look, I know I'm probably not the best person to talk to about that stuff before. <gasps> you weren't that bad. Thanks for, you know, being here. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom, if you wanted. Funny. I already felt like a mom. Jane said I was more of a mom than she'd ever be.
this stinks. Literally and figuratively. At least this is the last of them. From here on out, we have house to ourselves. It sounds nice, right? Now we just need some disinfectant. Get that smell out of there once and for all. It'll do for now. Feels good to have a roof over our heads at least. Kind of shit Kenny was capable of. Carver deserved what was coming to him, of course, but that's just brutal. I don't know how you could even watch that. It must have been brutal. And the sounds he must have made? Ugh. Just so fucked up. I needed to know that it was over. That he was gone for good. Let's get out of here. Never want to look at that sick fuck's body again. Here, take a load off. I've got the little goofball. I'll never get used to this. I just don't have that motherly instinct you've got. Remember what I taught you. Sweep and stab. Come on, we can get out this way. You know, I was pretty worried about you back there. But I guess I didn't need to be. You had things handled. Like usual. That's because I learned from the best. I'm glad you're okay. If only Rebecca could see you two together. You guys don't even need me. They just get in the way. You're more than capable on your own. You proved that back there. You're family. We're all family. Rebecca would feel the same way. Thanks, Clem. Go on, take him. He wants his other mom. Thanks, Clem. We'll always have each other. As long as we have that, we'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> 